The crest of the Indian Military Academy is composed of the cross swords of the profession of arms with a flaming torch symbolizing knowledge superimposed in the middle by the Dharma Chakra of Ashok against a background of steel grey and blood red. The scroll bears the inscription Virta or Vivek meaning valor and wisdom. Many years ago when I was a brigade major in high altitude Two of us, the company commander and myself, had walked ahead and we were sitting down to a cup of tea. He asked me a question. He said, Mao, what is the limit of an Indian soldier? I was fresh out of staff college, so I gave him all the usual staff answers of loads, distances and measured toughness. He kept shaking his head till I asked him. I said, Pashotam, why don't you tell me? And he said, Mao, the limit of an Indian soldier is the limit of his officer. Now that is true. The Indian Military Academy came into being in the year 1932 and ever since has grown from strength to strength. The first batch that passed out two years later had a total of 40 gentlemen cadets. Since then, over 43,000 GCs have passed out from this academy. The creation of the Indian Military Academy was perhaps the first public symbol of things to come. An independent India with an independent army, officered and led by young men who were the sons of the soil. Here, they were to be tried by fire and honed to a sharp edge. The IMA evolved its own distinct identity right from the start. Through its portals passed the leadership of the Indian Army, generation after generation, carving a niche for themselves on whose shoulders contemporary Indian history came to rest. I'm under your command. Yes, sir. Uh, that's, that's impossible, but ne nevertheless. <laughs> One of the broadest shoulders, those of Field Marshal Sam Manikshaw, had also worn the appellates of a gentleman cadet as part of the first batch that was to train at the IMA. Seventy years to the day, Manikshaw had heard Sir Philip Chetwood's immortal words, the safety Honor and welfare of your country come first, always and every time. The honor, welfare and comfort of the men you command come next. Your own ease, comfort and safety come last, always and every time. In the early years of the academy, the training was designed to produce the British concept of an officer, complete not only with required technical standards but also with the social shibboleths that governed the British Indian Army. One of the greatest achievements of the Academy was the smooth transition with which the Indian soldier accepted the change in leadership from British to Indian officers. In the half century since, 
Battle honors span five wars and countless other operations across the subcontinent. Linking them all is the golden thread of the academy. Nestled in the Himalayan foothills with the Shivaliks to the south, the academy is home to gentlemen cadets from virtually every corner of the subcontinent. With the passage of time, the academy has had to expand considerably in order to accommodate greater numbers. The two earliest residential blocks, Collins and Kingsley, along with the Chetwood building, have given the academy a unique and distinguished architectural style. While graduates from the National Defense Academy and the Army Cadet College Wing are automatically selected for a year's training at the IMA. Direct entry gentlemen cadets are college graduates who have qualified through a written exam and the services selection board. Three separate technical streams comprise of engineering graduates final and pre-final engineering graduates and the 10 plus 2 technical scheme, each having its own permutations and combinations vis-a-vis -vis the time spent at the academy and their ultimate seniority on commissioning. Today, there is a departure from what was expected of the officer who leaves this academy. Earlier, it was accepted that if you were a sportsman, there was no need for you to be a great scholar and vice versa. It's all changed today. We need supermen. We need officers who are extremely fit. They are mentally and physically tough. And at the same time, they are exploiters of knowledge in a world that has changed forever. For the warriors of tomorrow, their journey starts with specific field training exercises where they are introduced to the fundamentals of leadership and management, encompassing training in field craft and small unit tactics. So considering this, I will start my operation a bit early, so that's why I am starting at 8 o'clock. So, what time is your, what is the phase of moon? The phase of moon today. So you must consider this also, because that will decide what time you want to wait. In such a scenario, move from commando base, everything should take place like clockwork. Sentry silencing takes place, there won't be any sound. If the cutoff group has encountered someone, there's sound, immediately start moving in an assault. Hum, seven guards ke pehle platoon, aaj raat, saat aur aat ki raat ko, ammunition point par, raid kar kar, us ammunition point ko barbaad karna hai. The art of war and the handling of weapons. These skills are constantly developed and sharpened during the GC's tenure at the academy. These have paid huge dividends in actual warfare, where the Indian Army's leadership, especially at the subunit level, has been outstanding. The moment the assault, everyone is firing. The only thing is, there is nothing like opening fire, not sitting in an ambush. You're going to open fire, wait for the enemy to come in center. You know the enemy is there. You just got 10 minutes, you have to kill those chaps and come back.
ability to withstand protracted stress and strain is the bedrock of any mental and moral military training. Physical fitness is the common denominator in discipline, bravery and ferocity, all inseparable qualities that are the hallmark of any fighting man. Given the diversity of terrain and the circumstances within which the Indian Army operates, the training at the academy covers a wide spectrum. Lectures by young officers with plenty of live experience, be it in the jungles of Mizoram or the icy heights of Siachen, helps the gentleman cadet imbibe from their platoon, company and battalion commanders at various levels. Okay, now two star. ट्रॉफी the gentleman cadet is also presented a perspective on the terror tactics which are today a worldwide military threat an evaluation of simple methodologies adopted by hostile parties includes non-conventional employment of improvised explosive devices. With the great Himalayan peaks constantly beckoning the academy, Mounts Kamath and Abhigami have witnessed the fluttering grey and maroon colours of the IMA while the Academy's alumni have scaled virtually all the major peaks in the Himalayas. <laughs> Flanked by the Jamuna to the west and the Great Ganga to the east, IMA is ideally positioned for the gentlemen cadets to revel in the bounties of nature. Be it mountaineering, whitewater expeditions or parasailing, those who live up to the challenge come away with not only a vast knowledge of natural skills but also a new level of self-confidence born from facing adversity and overcoming it. The naturally verdant surroundings of the academy stretch from the Tons River Valley to the lush green environs of the Forest Research Institute. Against this backdrop, the gentleman cadet has plenty of opportunity to develop and hone particular skills, often resulting in splendid intellectual exuberance that lasts a lifetime. You will be told by many that you must be like your men. And indeed, you must be better than them in whatever work they're doing. You must try and be tougher than them. You must know your weapon systems or your other systems better than them. But please, don't be like them. The men don't want you to be like them. They don't want you to be another rank. They want you to be an officer. They want to see what is the benefit of education in this warrior. And that is what you must display. <laughs> Mountain warfare introduces gentlemen cadets to the techniques and tactics required to operate in a mountainous environment under hostile conditions. The emphasis is on preparation and holding defensive positions and mountain tactical instruction. Number eight section, our position is on the village. You are all ready for the fight. Commander! Why, Jung Sinjai, Dushman ka advance karta hua, ek platoon! Oh, 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 oh
Field exercises play an important, almost intangible role in the development of the future officer. The training team which charts each course through its term at the academy has to get the GC's fundamentals honed to perfection within a tight stipulated schedule. Amidst this almost frenzied pace, playing dead allows the enterprising GC 40 winks. No people of antiquity attributed as much importance to sport as the ancient Greeks. Plato's Republic, considered to be the blueprint of the British public school system, has influenced almost every military academy across the globe. The IMA is no exception and the academy has an integrated physical program that encourages sport and physical activity for all gentlemen cadets. Many believe that man was born to kick a ball and gentlemen cadets are not much different from their human counterparts in this respect. Balancing sports participation within the overall scheme of education is critical. Intercompany and inter-battalion fervor on the sporting arenas have much to do with the championship banner that is awarded at the end of each term. It can safely be said that Polo is the Indian Army's gift to the world. It was an Indian Army subaltern who delivered the game from the remote mountains of Manipur into the foothills of Assam, from where it spread to Calcutta and the rest of the globe. In virtually all equestrian events, academy teams have always been highly ranked and IMA alumni have kept the flag flying at both the national and the international levels. As the gentlemen cadets move from one field exercise to the other, they are molded into being future commanders of courage and willpower with the temperament for decisive action in difficult and dangerous circumstances. How you will communicate with each other? Okay, that is interrelated. As to how the moment you start spreading your ambush side or your troops, I mean it will have a bearing on the compactness of the ambush. Drills while occupying ambush side? Yes. You should occupy it from where? Yes. From the rear. All right. Now if you want to occupy this ambush site. Yes, sir. Isn't it? Yes, sir. So it's going to leave your tracks. You will try to obliterate it. So out of these two sites which I have discussed, which is the better one? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. That one. Because it lies in our approach. Modern day technology has brought many changes into the lives of the GCs, but the basic objectives of the IMA continue to be time honored. Apart from teaching the GC how to think and communicate as a future commander and to foster an attitude of integrity, selflessness and loyalty, the academy must train him in basic skills of battlefield discipline and soldiering. सामने देख मैदान के बीच आइसलैंड आइसलैंड के बीच झाड़ी झाड़ी के बीच टारगेट कदम कदम बढ़ाए जा खुशी के गीत गाए जा जिंदगी है कौन की तू कौन के उठाए जा कदम बढ़ाए जा खुशी के गीत गाए जा
सेंचुरी बंद करने से पहले बैक क्लास कीरा एरिया का मुलायजा करें नंबर टू फाइव नंबर फोर आर एल फायर year after year academy teams clash with sporting rivals nda in a variety of disciplines fighting it out for the coveted bakshi cup ima alumni have distinguished themselves not only in mountaineering and equestrian events but have played test cricket represented india at the olympic asian and commonwealth games They have dominated the national squash scenario for decades and collected a host of Arjuna awards in other arenas as well. The icing on the cake, however, is a clutch of medals won at the Olympic Games in hockey, a sport that makes not just the academy but the entire nation collectively hold its breath. If the blur of color were to inspire an artist, it would take a Rudyard Kipling to capture the soul of the long-distance runner. The ground seems to shake as the entire academy is on the move. Individual endurance is tested to the very limit as GCs run not just for themselves but for their respective companies. Every finish is vital. Every finish is critical. Gentlemen cadets are not judged only on academic results or athletic achievements, both of which are measurable. Next week, they have to reach a standard in these spheres and in drill, but it is as important for them to develop tangible qualities of leadership and even temperament, the ability to put up with horseplay and leg pulling without loss of temper. Cheerfulness, quickness to obey, initiative and self-reliance and above all and perhaps the hardest of all to define, the ability of the GC to pull his weight. The gentleman cadet must learn to be a brother officer as well as a junior linked in a common bond of honorable behavior. Chindits. For the GCs, it's the final hurdle through which they now must transcend. Generally, you take care of IDs from below the vehicle, but the sides of the vehicles are very soft. Okay, so they are now planting IDs these days onto the side of the roads also, where they are cuttings. Keep moving. The face of modern war necessitates that tomorrow's warrior fosters a deep interest and care for the individual, for he may well have to flush the enemy from behind the ranks of his own people. अपने आइडेंटिटी कार्ड लेकर बाहर आ जाए
Bora. Bora, bora, bora. General Wingate's long range behind the enemy lines columns set standards of endurance during World War II that kindled the imagination of the world. Now the gentlemen cadets, as a unit, must cover the 70 odd kilometers through the Shivaliks reporting at the academy with men and equipment intact. One up, sir. Two up. Raise it on top of your head. As the GC's stint at the academy draws to a close, excitement builds up with individuals opting for various arms. Bihar, Rajputs, Dogras, Sikhs, Armour, Artillery, Gurkhas. The corridors are abuzz with each gentleman cadet's name now associated with a regiment. The seeds that had been sown a few terms ago have sprouted. The academy yet again goes through the rituals, most of them cherished traditions, handed down by other men who too had once been gentlemen cadets. A few months shy of his 90th year, the arrival of the field marshal sends a ripple of excitement through the academy. In the cold winter morning, everything seems to sparkle with the bubbling exuberance of the passing out gentlemen cadets. It is a poignant moment, tempered with the camaraderie of the young men. Why is he passing out, gentlemen? Please keep quiet. Then listen. Keep seeing all the cleavage <laughs> and other things. <laughs> Billets are a girl. I saw it there. It was a 66. Sorry, you missed out the zero in between. <laughs> Brush! The colors of the academy are steel gray and blood red. Gray for steel denotes strength and resilience, whereas red for blood signifies the ultimate sacrifice in devotion to duty. The public face of not just the academy, but that of the entire army is on display. Tempered by fire, the passing out gentlemen cadets have been trained in disciplined valor to the extent that now courage becomes a habit and a reflex. They too, like so many before them, carry forward certain virtues. Loyalty to comrades, fidelity to an oath and courage under stress. For without these virtues, an officer and an army are nothing. Officer, 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 the gold and silver medals, the banner awarded to the best company, are cherished moments in the rearview mirror of time. Many changes have taken place, but one thing remains the same, that is your task and your duty. You are required 
to ensure the security of this country against any aggressor. What does that mean for you? It means that you should have to fight and fight to win. There is no room for the loser. If you lose, don't come back. You will have disgraced the country. The country won't accept you. The people of cities, towns, villages and gowns where you come from won't look at you. Even your karwali will despise you. As I look around, I see parents, I see relations, I see friends who are looking at you with trust and pride. Make sure, gentlemen, that you don't betray their trust or their pride. May the winds of fortune blow kindly upon you and may good luck attend all your deeds. I wish you great success. Thank you. The difference between a bad and a good army is not only a matter of equipment but also of something in the human spirit. Mere enthusiasm is not enough. Fervor must be controlled, trained and guided. For 70 years, the Indian Military Academy nestled in the lap of the Himalayas has done just that. I am a warrior. Fighting is my dharma. I will train my mind, body and spirit to fight. I will excel in all devices and weapons of war, present and future. I will always protect the weak. I will be truthful to bluntness. I will be humane, cultured and compassionate. I will fight and embrace the consequences. God. Give me strength that I ask nothing of you.